Hey y'all, this is a uh, kind of a get to know you video regarding the Dragon Homes. I haven't played in a while, so uh, really anybody that's got tips and tricks, put them in the comments below because I don't know that much about this game. This is just a broad, broad, broad level explanation. Um, all the specifics, I'm going to leave those up to you. So let's get back to uh, camp and uh, go into the Dragon Homes. Dragon Homes, okay. Now these will go away, so I'll go ahead and explain those before I get into everything else. These are your little dust bunnies. They hide on the furniture, and what you're going to do is go in and tap on the dust bunnies. Uh, depending on the size, uh, it's a different point value. Okay, bunny mayhem has begun. Alright, so that means that I'm going to go back to my camp now, and we're going to look for the dust bunnies that are out on camp. These are all your little dust bunnies. You can actually click on them or they'll just go on their own. And as you can see, they went over here and they filled up in the meter. So, like I said, I'm going back to camp for the moment. And if anybody knows if you if the 15 minutes starts immediately or if it starts when you go back to camp, uh, that would be great because I'm not sure. I've never had it show up that early. Usually it's later, like when I'm getting ready to go back to camp anyway. So now for the dust bunny mayhem, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to find the three dust bunnies that escaped into camp. So some of them are easy to find, like this little guy right here hiding in plain sight. Got him. Got him. Come on. Got you. Dude, really? Come on. There you go. And then right over here, got another one hiding. Ugh. Got him. Well, actually, all three of them were hiding in plain sight this time. Now, when I get three stamps, I'm going to get, well, okay forgot about the crate but usually inside the crate are eggs so that's how you get your ash bunny eggs and he is just really really uh, cute so let's go back to our dragon homes now we've collected all our points um, basically what you the the main parts of this you've got the homes or the different levels of the homes and this is where you're going to store the furniture or this is where you're going to have your furniture um, so that you can get your points levels. Up here, uh, that 348, I have that much, that many points. Uh, each item is a different uh, point level. Like down here, we have a home power of 18. That's part of that 348 total. So you've got that up here. Um, the higher the power level of the furniture, uh, the more... Uh, maybe more, maybe faster on the dust bunnies. And it is per level that it shows. So as you can see, I've got all 348 uh, in here right now. And if I will go ahead and move this guy over here, you can see it's now has a power of 9, and this guy has gone down to 399. And each level has its own different point value. So in order to unlock this level here, I need to get 1,200. And as you can see, I'm quite a distance from that. So next step over here is your where you're going to purchase crates, which will give you the types of furniture. And you can also see your storage. Is that where my storage? Yeah, this one's my storage. I think that one's my storage. This is the chest. These are what you're going to purchase to get the furniture. So like right now I have 168. If I want to pay gems, I can get all of that. But of course I'm cheap. So I can't quite get three. I can get two. So I'm going to buy two. One, two. 
and then I'm nine short to get another one. So at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open that and open that. And the tasks over here are based on what they want you to do. And you really don't have any type of control over it. For example, it says merge level four items. Well, you have control over that one. Uh, create items belonging to the Kala set. You can't control that uh, because you don't know what items you will... Never mind, you can't control that because you can merge items that are in the Kala set. Okay, and open any crate. So any crates that you open will um, count toward that. So again, hit and miss on that. Now, I've got my furniture. What am I supposed to do with it? Well, you're going to go back in here and go into your storage and see what you have. Uh, and I've already forgotten what I have. Okay, so I have here two retro set sofas. So I'm going to go in here, look in my storage, which again is over here on the far left, and I'm going to look for the retro set. And I have three retro set sofas. So I'm going to click on that three times to remove all three of those. And then I'm going to go up here, and I'm going to merge them. So now, I'm going to, I don't have anything over there that I see, so I'm going to again go back into my storage area, and look for a retro level 2. And I don't have a retro level 2, so I'm just going to put those two into storage which is down here. It's this little button in the middle. And now those are in storage. So the next item up is Kala Set Shelf Level 1. And is that the one? Yep. So I have four of those, so I want to go ahead and do one, two, three, four. Close that. Oh, did I not get them all? I wonder if that included it in the count or if it just magically disappeared. So anyway, since I only have four, not five, I'm going to go ahead and put all of those right back in there. Although I guess since that task is asking me to build something, Yeah, I'll just go ahead and do three. One, two. And the merge that. And that should. Okay, so that's completed. So now I've got another chest to open. So I'm going to open that bad boy. And that gave me enough dust bunnies that I can now go through and buy another chest if I like, which I will. And the new quest is for rustic items. Okay. So this is level two. Let's go in there and see if I have level two. I do, but I only have one of them. So I'm going to go ahead and put that guy in storage. And this is rustic set of drawers, level one. Which I have four. Let's hope it doesn't disappear again. One, two, three four. All right, so we're going to merge those guys up. And now go in and see if we have retro level two. We only have retro on the lamps, so storage, storage. That guy, we know we used all of him, so he can go straight into storage. That is the terrarium, level one. I only have three, so he goes immediately into storage. And the retro lamp one. I have four, so one, two, three, four. Merge him up. 
And I believe I had three of those, four of those. So one, two, three. And we'll merge him up. Let's see, I have level four. Nope. Get all the bunny dust you can. So we're going to move these guys into storage. Make sure, yep, just two. So now since we're done over there, um, we're gonna go up here and, excuse me, go over here and buy another chest. Then come out here. Huh. Rustic plant. No, I don't have any of him, so he goes straight in. Uh, call a set chair level two. I only have one of those. So he goes into storage and that's the rustic pillow set one and I only have three of those so he goes into storage so now I'm done or at least I'm done until I have more dust bunnies to create um, the points that will go up here which will allow me to purchase more chests so again, that's just the basic overall. This is kind of how you play the game. If you have any questions, comments, please, again, tips or tricks. Uh, I'm not playing this, so I will leave it up to the experts. Um, make sure to put those down in the comments. Thanks, y'all. Bye.